What did Stetson Bennett do to piss off Kirby Smart? That's the question that I have for you today. Listen, as good as he played to start the game going 10 for 12 and the way he finished the game in that fourth quarter with those two touchdowns, made throw after throw to win the game, it wasn't all that great for Stetson Bennett in the second and third quarter. Here's what Kirby Smart had to say on national television right after the game. Uh, Kirby said he's got to play within our system. He has to do what he's coached to do or you can't win games. He must play better if we expect to win the next game. And I was on the teleconference with Kirby and Stetson Javon Burl earlier today. And Stetson basically said, yeah, he's right. I have to play better. And there were a number of different things that he should have done definitely. And I'll go back to this quote later in the video. But he was playing really well until the interception. Play action, bootleg to the right. There was pressure in his face, and he just kind of didn't know what he was doing, running around with it, you know, his chicken with his head cut off for a split second there. Went to go back to Kenny McIntosh, who was running the wheel route, and just it was a terrible throw. Under threw it. I think he was more trying to aim it. Um, I'm not a quarterback. I don't know exactly where the ball should have been, but it shouldn't have been right to steal Chambers, the defender, um, to end the first half. I believe they had 40 seconds to go trying to get into field goal range in the half strong. And he almost threw a pick, you know, on their side of the field. Kirby was kind of livid right when they went to the half. He came over to Stetson before they went in the locker room and said, hey, just calm down. You can't do that. You know, it, run, throw it away, do something. But you cannot turn the ball over right there and throw that pick. Um, you know, the, the backwards lateral um, to Lad McConkey right after the Bowers critical fourth down conversion. You know, ended up, they had to settle for a field goal, right? Um, and then last, the, the last touchdown to A.D. Mitchell, there's 14 seconds left on the play clock, and he hikes the ball. And, yes, he threw a touchdown pass, and you had to. You had to score. I get that. And I'm not knocking on the play call at all. I mean, they asked their best receiver to run around in the end zone. So I have no problem with the call and where Stetson went with the football because it worked out. But – milk the play clock a little bit. Um, instead, you gave Ohio State 52 seconds instead of 40. That, that was huge. So it's that mental stuff like that. And the dude's 25 years old. He's been in the system for a while. And, you know, he's kind of a gunslinger. He's never been that game manager that a lot of people thought he was earlier in his career. No, Stetson Bennett thinks he's Superman. He thinks he can make every throw in the book. And there are times when he should hit the open guy, maybe in the flat. Instead, he tries to fight it, you know, throw it through a window at times to someone down the field. A lot of times it works out. So his gunslinger mentality leads to a lot of big plays, but it gets him in trouble. And again, you know, we've seen him play a lot better and he hasn't been perfect this year at all. Even though Very good season. Very good season. Georgia fans want a little bit more from him though, but when it comes down to leading a team back in the fourth quarter, he's done it now twice uh, against Alabama in the national championship last year, Ohio State this year, Missouri early in the game. But if he plays sound football and does what Todd Munkin and Kirby want him to do, then they're probably not playing behind in those games. So he's got to play better. He said it. Kirby Smart said it on national television. And again, I, I obviously you have to love his performance of what he did in the fourth quarter. But they possibly run away with this game a little bit if he plays better in the second and third quarter. Defense showed up when they had to to win the game, even though they've they got to go see the doctor, like we talked about on Dog Post. I wrote about it. Dean talked about it. They've got a lot to fix. Uh, Kirby said after the game that I, I don't think we're ready for TCU right now. We have a lot to work on. Stetson Bennett has to play better. So can he reel it in in his final game of his career, national championship? I mean, th this is the last chapter that has to be writ for the Stetson Bennett story. You know he wants to go out and throw it around and make big throws, but – if he does what they want him to do, Georgia's offense is going to be really, really tough to stop uh, for TCU. So, uh, again, the only way they lose that game is if he turns the ball over multiple times. Uh, occasionally, you see a bad kind of sets and Bennett pass. You're thinking, you know, wh where was that? What kind of throw was that? What are you doing? And he had one against Ohio State. Uh, should have had another one, I thought, in the fourth quarter. Um, I believe right before they kicked a field goal, he threw a ball. Um to Lad McConkey in double coverage. You, you can't do that. Could have easily been intercepted. And of course, right before the first half, that was close to an interception. If Ohio State scores there, um, they go up double digits going into the half instead of four, I think it was. All this kind of off the top of the head. But he's got to play better. 
And I think there are plenty of times where the staff wants to kind of rip their hair out and say, dude, what, what are you doing? Calm down, relax, do what you're supposed to do. Play our system. You don't have to make big throws every single drive. And when they are kind of slow and methodical, like they were against Oregon uh, for a lot of the game, South Carolina, everything works if they're all doing their job. And sometimes Stetson doesn't do his job. He tries to, you know, force the ball down the field instead of, you know, hit an open guy four or five yards underneath who maybe can, you know, pick up yards after the catch. No, he, he wants to push the ball. He wants to get it down the field. And sometimes, like we saw against Ohio State, it can get him into trouble. So it was weird covering that game and being down there because, you know, Georgia fans everywhere were celebrating. They're going back to the national championship. But just watching some of the players, Kirby and Stetson as well, they were not happy with their performance. They won, and they're happy they won, but they all know that, you know, we, we kind of got away with one, and we've got to play better against TCU. We have to get better in seven days. So they they know that they could have lost that game, and if they don't get it together, they can lose to TCU, no doubt about it. So, and I think Stetson's been here for three years now. I say here like I live in Athens. I'm not in Athens. I'm at my house. I do not live in Athens, but he's been around the system for a long time now, and I think they want him to have it mastered and have it perfectly in his head, and sometimes he's still you know, making throws that Todd Muckett would not like him to make, and but, you know, that comes with the gunslinger mentality. Um, that's what makes him great at times is that ability to, you know, put balls, you know, in there and make it look kind of flashy at times and uh, other times not so flashy. But he loves to push the ball down the field and it works. But you still have to play within the system and do exactly what you need to do. And again, he, he's an old dude. He's not a freshman or a sophomore coming in still learning the system. He should have it down pat right now. And uh, stuff with the play clock. I mean, it, he, he's been around far too long to understand that, hey, we can't give Ohio State too much time. If we score right here, we're in a really good position to win. Why snap it at 52, 54 seconds? Or I think it, I think it was, uh, yeah, it, when it could have been at 40, right? Um, it's that stuff. And it's protecting the ball right before the half. Uh, he did not do a good job of closing the first half against Michigan in the Orange Bowl last year. Kirby lit him up after that, and he didn't do a good job against Ohio State and almost put Georgia in a, a real big bind there at the end. So I, I get what he's trying to do. You have to love that gunslinger mentality part of his game, but he's got to play better. And I know it's going to be tough for him to change his style a little bit in his final game, national championship. Of course, he wants to be the guy who makes the plays and makes the big throws. But I think Todd Munkin wants him to distribute the ball um, a little, get it out a little quicker sometimes. Um, not everything has to be down the field. Not everything has to be in double coverage or tight windows. He makes it hard on himself sometimes, but more often than not, he completes the pass. But I, I'm not a quarterback. I'm not trying to break him down. I'm not trying to hate on Stetson Bennett or what he's done because um, the dude's a winner. Um but he's got to play better. And again, he mentioned it. Kirby said it. And it's almost too late to change his way of thinking. But they're going to put it in his brain. Hey, do what you're supposed to do. This is the final game of the season. If you do what we tell you, do what we ask you to do, you're going to leave a national champion, college football Hall of Famer, back-to-back, uh, -back, in all time. Dude might get a statue outside of Sanford Stadium if they beat TCU and he – Rides off into the sunset. But again, he's got to play better. And according to Kirby Smart, he's got to play within the system and do what he's asked to do. I'm going to say it again. He's got to play within our system. He has to do what he's coached to do, where you can't win games. He must play better if we expect to win the next one. And I think a lot of people are giving you know Kirby some grief about that comment. But again, Stats is 25 years old. He's not an 18 or 19-year-old freshman or sophomore quarterback still learning. Um, he's a guy who you can halfway criticize. I mean, he, someone just gave him a mic and asked him a question specifically about Stetson's play. Of course, he's going to say that. So it's not like he had that prepared and said it to a room full of reporters in a press conference. So um, I have no problem with what Kirby said. And again, Stetson agreed with it. He's got to play better. And if he can play like he did in the first quarter and in the fourth quarter for four quarters, like we've seen him do against Michigan and 
um, UAB and you know multiple other games in the past three seasons. So sometimes it looks ugly, but that's just occasionally. More often than not, this guy makes the throws. He's a leader. He's a winner. And I think he's going to lead Georgia to a win over TCU in the national championship game. We've got plenty of stuff coverage over on Dog Press all week. Check us out. Sign up to the newsletter. We got free stories. This is the biggest week of the season playing for national championship. So a lot of free stories on Dog Post. Make sure you're signed up to the newsletter so you don't miss any of it. Email straight to you every day with everything we've written about. Uh, again, heard from Kirby earlier. We all have to write about that and uh, trying to break down some TCU footage as well for you. So thanks for watching this video. We always appreciate it. Stay tuned to the next one coming up right now. I'll see you over on the website.